Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, X here with Good Clean Gaming RX and today we are back in Eco. Uh, today I'm going to be producing as much iron ore as I can, uh, well I suppose iron bars as I can, uh, because we're working on making uh, all of the parts and machines needed for um, mechanics. So I'm going to see if I can get a hold of any of the upgrades. Uh, no, there are currently none available. Alright, so I'm going to uh, do a couple of things then today. Uh, we're going to try and get a kiln set up uh, somewhere in here. We've got the sawmill, which I don't need anymore currently, so we'll just put that back up for sale. Uh, so see, sawmill, there we go. And we'll go ahead and put that one back up for sale here. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll take this. There we go. And let's see here. Storage. I thought I had some coal down here somewhere. Perhaps not. Oh, there's a little bit. Perfect. We'll go ahead and use that then. Uh, mortared stone fireplace. Kiln. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can make myself a couple of advanced upgrades here. Uh, this will be the advanced upgrade ones. Uh, so let's see here. We need 20 brick, which we can currently buy there for five dodge coins. So we're going to be it's going to be a hundred bricks worth, or a hundred hundred dodge coin worth of brick uh, to get that. So that's really quite expensive. Uh, so instead, I'm going to see if I can't do this. Uh, four of those, that pottery one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to produce uh, 40 of these. And we're going to go ahead and do yes. There we go. And let it know, yep, you can use that and this. Very good. We're going to move this one to the start. And then we're also going to go ahead and order two of these. And that's going to put both of those up available. And then we're going to go ahead and create a contract for this so that someone with pottery can do the labor on this. So let's see here. We're going to subtract the supplies and we'll only want the pottery labor done. So we need 300 pottery and 800 pottery labor. So we've got 1,100 total. I'm going to go ahead and change this and we're going to do... Uh, Let's do 11 dodge coin. That's uh, about one dodge coin per hundred labor, which is really quite generous. Um, a lot of the servers that I've been on uh, were more like one one per 500 labor, uh, but the, the economy is a little bit different on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and post that one. There we go, and. Uh, they'll be making a pretty decent profit on this one. We'll go ahead and let everyone know. For some bricks and a few advanced upgrade ones to contribute labor. Paying one dodge coin oops, per hundred labor. All right, perfect. Hopefully, we'll have someone pop over and take that pottery. Bert John, I'm pretty sure he's on. Logged out. Venter Gradient, he's logged in. Perfect, okay. Go ahead and move this back to general. Okay, so while that's sitting out there, we're going to go ahead and see about mining out some more iron ore here, so that we can get uh, get this processing. So we'll go ahead and pick all of this up here. There we go. Um, and this is right now at least our most efficient. Uh, area for pulling iron ore out of. So I'm just going to go ahead and mine up all of this that I can. Okay, so um, I guess 
as this is supposed to be more of a tutorial video, um, I'm going to go over today the things necessary for uh, mechanics. So I'm currently in the process of, as I said, making all of the uh, all the different machines uh, that need to be made so that a person can do mechanics. Um, and so that entails making a lot. I mean, we're talking uh, hundreds of iron. Um, generally, you do this when you have bit better upgrades, uh, but there's really been quite a dearth of advanced upgrades on the market, and so I make those myself. Um, as I said there, I'll make someone else uh, do the labour on it, and then uh, supply all the materials myself. There we go. Um, it's got that empty, we'll go ahead and start mining out some more iron, uh, iron ore here. Um, so that's, I guess, the biggest thing that uh, when you're starting out on a server and you really, uh, really want to start moving forward at a rapid pace, uh, technologically speaking, of course, not physically, um, but when you really want to start cranking things out in, in good quantities, uh, the two most important things are to have uh, a, well, I suppose if you're doing it on a single player world, it really doesn't matter what the economy is doing. Uh, but to have your basic upgrades and advanced upgrades or whatever upgrades you need for your machine, uh, that's really the most important thing because it can reduce your, your raw materials cost uh, by 50%, actually. When you get it all the way upgraded, and then if you put uh, luxury uh, luxury workspaces, you can actually reduce it by 55%. Um, which, when you're working on something like uh, making iron bars, that really can start to add up to a lot, uh, a lot, a lot of iron that you that you can turn more efficiently into the iron bars. Uh, currently. Um, it's something like, let's see here, we take this, and 12 of these makes, I think it's three, uh, three crushed iron, and then you need two crushed iron to make an iron concentrate, and then two iron concentrate to make three iron bars. So I think it turns out to be I think it's somewhere around four chunks of iron to make an iron iron bar, which is really not too bad. Uh, but once you start to get some of the uh, some of the upgrades in there, it can really get much much better uh, to where you're doing it more like uh, one per two, uh, one one iron bar per two chunks of iron kind of thing. Um, so that's always much better. Once, of course, you can move from uh, the blast furnace, or sorry, from, from the, uh, the bloomery to a blast furnace, and you can go from the arastra to the stamp mill or the jaw crusher. Uh, that's a, a big boost as well. Um, and then the same goes for going to the screening machine. Um, when you're working with iron, that of course won't work. When you're working with gold or copper, you need a, a cloth flotation cell uh, to be able to do that. Um, but that's something that uh, that helps to reduce the cost on those as well. All right, let's see here. What do we have in here? We've got clay. We've got sand. I don't want to have to buy all of those myself, so I'm going to leave this one right here. Alright, and while those are processing, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, actually, looks like crushed iron. Well, we've got a little bit of that in right there. Crushed sandstone, crushed iron ore. We'll go ahead and take that out as well. Because occasionally, some of this actually spawns in the world. Um, there's sometimes that 
you can actually get enough of this um, to you know, and it's, and it's very rare because it's it's not uh, it doesn't spawn very easily in the world. There's six. Um, but there are some times where you can get just enough if you're having trouble finding iron um, that you can then use. There we go. Uh, you can then use to Produce enough iron bars to make yourself a iron rock drill, uh, which will then allow you, of course, to find um, iron that much easier. Okay, continue mining out as much clay here as I can because. That's going to be critically important um, as soon as we start. See here, 10, 20, 30, 47. I think I needed another 12 a piece, so we need another 24 total. Um, oops. And then we've got our inventory is, is too heavy. So we'll go ahead and take these back up to the surface here. Come on. I guess the other thing that I can do here, if I want to save a little bit of time, um, let's check and see how much the blast furnace is going for currently. Blast furnace. Ooh, there are none currently available. How about assembly line? No? None of those currently available either. Assembly line recipe. Machinist table, eight screws, eight iron bars, eight gears, one portable steam engine. And that's, of course, the expensive bit right there is the portable steam engine. Um, iron plate, 18 screws, 12 iron plates, three boilers, and then those boilers are their expensive bit as well. So, um, we really need to get a line on the advanced upgrades. Those are, those are the critical bit right there. Sell it and he says he's normally selling those, but uh, well, normally buying them, but apparently he's all bought out. So let's see here. Okay, so it looks like uh, our screw press is finished. That's our first tool necessary for. Requirements 50 out of 36. So we need to build a little bit more room onto here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can do that uh, economically here. 36. Um, so we should be able to do. I guess we need another 20. We'll go ahead and do this. So we're going to need just a little bit more here uh, before we can make this all the way up. How about, do we have any lumber? No, we do not. Okay, let's see if there's any for sale. Okay, sell it. None currently available. Okay, how about bricks? Yes, we can buy bricks. Okay, let's check and see how much money we have then. 968 dodge coin. So we're going to go and get some bricks. Actually, let's check glass as well. Glass, sell it for two. But there's nowhere currently to buy it. Okay, um... Bird go for two. Cliff top shop for 15. Okay, let's go ahead and take those then. We're going to run off to Clifftop Shop. And there's nowhere we can sell that either. Alright, um, 
Let's make sure we're heading in the right direction here. It's always important. <laughs> so until we reach a point where the basic upgrades, or sorry, not basic, advanced upgrades, um, are widely available on the market, um, progress really at this point slows to a crawl. Um, because all of the basic upgrades, Burko Masonry just down the road, got clay or sand, okay. Well, Burko Masonry apparently is not purchasing. Cliff Top Shop, there we go. We'll go ahead and sell those seven. 99.75, very good. Alright, and then we'll pop down here to Vertco's and see about getting some bricks. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Riven Branch, purchasing, selling brick, there we go. Or full up with clay. Interesting fertilizer skill scroll. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase those 20 bricks. And that'll set us back 100. But we should be able to get our next. Log. Oh, there we go. Somebody's done some labour in there. Very nice. As you can see from these uh, these bars filling up there, we'll be able to go ahead and get some uh, 1.4. Sell it for one. See if there's any trading that can be done here. No. Nope. Uh, sell it for 1.5 there. Ooh, that's not a bad trade there, honestly. Let's see if he's got any Samuel Store personal account. Uh, he doesn't have any Dogecoin. Okay, that'd be why. <laughs> somebody's uh, somebody's taken advantage of that trade. It looks like 1.5, dollars coin. Okay, so no, there's nowhere to make a profit on that. Uh, Let's check these bricks, because sometimes it's coal. Sometimes you can do a little trading here and, and make a decent amount of money. I'm sure he's making a killing on all the, the iron bars that are brought to him. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this back to the house. Seventy. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Well, I'll have to bring back the uh, bring back the cart and pick those up. I was wondering where some of that money went. That actually might not be a bad idea right off the bat. To. Uh, to move into town there, at least for the advanced um, the advanced masonry, or not advanced masonry, sorry, the kiln, kiln portion of it. Um, I'm going to see about making advanced upgrades, uh, specifically the one and two upgrades. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Good. Um, and we'll go ahead and put those into there, and then we'll pick these up. Oops. Okay. There we go. And check this, and perfect. 
Alright, so. Oop, we can't reach that one. So we're going to go ahead and move this over. There we go. And we should now be able to reach that. Perfect. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead over here then, and we're going to build the next portion. This will be the lathe. Uh, we're going to order one of those, do the work. And iron wheel. Okay. Iron wheel Y. Wainwright table. Okay. Not sure exactly why that's doing that, but... Uh, there are none currently for sale. Okay. right into there. Perfect. Okay, so we can go ahead and continue with the uh, with the iron mine. And actually, before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and start crafting a couple more kilns here. Uh, let's go ahead and make two of them. Because I'm going to set up uh, some basic upgrade, or sorry, some advanced upgrade crafters. Um, I'm going to put those in town. I'll go ahead and get a contract board as well, or at least put this contract board probably out in town. What are we waiting on for this? Storage. No, it should be able to reach here. Why is it? Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move our cart over here then. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Yes. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and do that. Oops. No, can't. <laughs> yes, yes we can. Okay, good. able to reach the storage cart. There we go, perfect. And then I'll go ahead and... There's the clay for that. It's just waiting on a couple of bricks now. And that'll do the work on that. Very good. Another four minutes and change on that one. Let's go ahead and mine out some more iron ore here. Oops. Okay. Um. Trying to do the thinking in my head now how I can uh, set up. Okay, so yes, that's that's probably what I'll end up doing. Ooh, this, this iron ore field has opened up quite nicely. That's what I'm used to seeing. It's nice four, four blocks tall. Ooh, there we go. Lots and lots of iron ore available to just rip out of here and, and turn into iron bars. And uh, iron bars, of course, are going for a pretty penny on the market currently. So we can uh, we can make a decent amount of money making and selling those as well. Okay, um, I'm going to go 
ahead and start placing these down there. And I guess right over here as well. Put a few more in here. Just fill that up. Is always the challenge early in the game too is uh, dealing with all of the tailings because generally you're not uh, you're not particularly well organized all this stuff is being moved in and out and so it's just kind of hodgepodge put it wherever it will go Later on in the game, of course, when you've got a little bit more storage space mined out and you've got a little bit better conversion rates on everything, uh, you've got better, uh, better ability to deal with all of these. And of course, the dry, dry processing uh, with this screening machine greatly helps. All right, let's go ahead and take those and pop them up there. And then we'll go ahead and move these up to the top as well, so that they can be processed. There we go. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and move all of these up to there. Got a little bit more room. We'll move this up to there as well. And now we should be able to move those down. Perfect. Move that back out. And at some point, oh, sell it. Perfect. Well, let's go ahead and move those up then. And we'll move the sand down. There we go. And since this is more of a byproduct than anything else for me, um, whew, uh, let's see here. What else can I move into there? It's really not a whole lot, is there? Looks like I'm going to need some more storage space. So let's see here, right? Briggs's campfire. We'll go ahead and move those out of there and make make another stockpile here quickly. Okay. We'll do the work on that. Alrighty. So uh, that's going to start wrapping things up for today's episode. Obviously, not quite as much uh, progress as I'd hoped for. Um, of course, a large part of that is just the uh, the demand for all of these is, is very high. Um, you know, the, the amount of iron that's actually needed. And then, of course, all of the upgrades are, uh, are severely hampering things. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this advanced upgrade one that's been created here. Um, where is that? There we go. I'm going to put this into here, and that'll help to reduce the brick cost there just slightly and the production speed, of course. Um, go ahead and how are those kilns? Are those done? Let's see here, one, two, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take these into town. Um, what else was I gonna take? Oh, the bricks, yes. Okay, um, so, mm -hmm. I don't really have enough storage space there to do that, do I? Uh, storage chest, where can we? Yeah, let's go ahead and move those to there. That there, move those. Whew, that slag is heavy. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and we'll move this, this from here. There we go, so that there's plenty of processing room 
and I'm going to go ahead and take that. And where can we put this? Actually, I think we can put this right up here. Not quite. Not quite. a few log here. Oh, there we go. Those will work. We'll go ahead and put a nice line of these. So, let's use those and do that. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Alright, so now we've got a little bit more storage space. Uh, we can move a couple of things around. We'll go ahead and move all of those out of there so that we've got plenty of space. Alright, good that brick is being used. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Come up here to the kiln. And make sure it can reach both of those. Very good. Alright, we'll move these up to here. Those down to there. And then... Move that up to here. There we go. And of course, this just helps to reorganise everything so that there's uh, a little bit more, a little bit more room and storage space. Ventigradient store. Where is this? All the way up here. Mm, that's a bit of a jaunt, honestly. Um. I think we'll just leave those here for right now. We'll have to make a separate trip. So we're going to bring back all of those bricks that we purchased. Okay. Now that this is empty, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oop. Oh, we don't have enough room. Okay. Let's see what we can shuffle around here. Oop, there we go. Go ahead and take that. And we'll put those back in. Perfect. Alright. Off we go. Oh, contract board. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll get this set up. And we should have enough room in there. I think it's it's big enough. Uh, that we should be able to do that without any trouble. We can at the very least produce one. to it. There we go. We'll put our contract board right up the front here. There we go. And uh, we're going to edit the purchase list and we're going to remove, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and do clay. Five. Okay, good. We're also going to do mortar. There we go. And we'll submit both of those. Clay, we're going to purchase for 0 0.2. And mortar, we're going to purchase for 0 0.2. Well, no, let's go to 0 0.1, as that's really quite. And we're going to do... Let's do 100 at a time. We'll do this for 400 at a time. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to organise those so that it's going to first stack these up, uh, all of the the non-bricks right into there. Uh, we'll purchase bricks. Let's do those for two, actually. There we go. And then we're going to edit the sale list and we're going to do advanced 
upgrade and we're going to do the first one there there we go okay so now for some quick math for one of these ooh, there's a good one we're going to need a little bit of coal as well we had a purchase let's do coal and we'll just do 20 of these and set this for 0 0.25 there we go, so that we're not completely bankrupting ourselves. Where can we buy this Burt Co's? He's got a couple of them there. Okay. We'll buy a few of them at least. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up an advanced upgrade on this one. I'm going to do this for 10. For that, we're going to need 200 brick and 120 clay. So, some quick math, 200 brick, 120 clay, means divide that out and we're looking at 20 and 12. We'll go ahead and set 20 of those as 40 and 12 of clay at 0 0.2 comes up to mm, 2 times 12, 24, 2.4 dollars, so 44, so let's go ahead and set this for 50, so that we account for the labour as well, and a little bit of coal that we're going to be using. Okay, actually, let's bring this down to 1, there we go, and that'll bring this down to 20, so we'll do 25. There we go, and we're going to go ahead and we'll call that right there, and then we'll do clay, is it one, go ahead and do brick, and we'll do 200, there you go, yep. And we're going to need those and those. We'll go ahead and come out here and we're going to create a work party. We're going to leave the ingredients alone. And we're just going to do the labour on here. And that's pottery for bricks. Okay. And 4,000 pottery, we're going to go ahead and change this and do for 40. Amount, 40 dodge coin. There you go, and that's, again, at 1 per 100 labour. And we'll go ahead and change this and do this to 10. There we go, and submit that. Post. Alright. Alright. We'll go ahead and create another work party, and we're going to do this one for our advanced upgrades. And we're going to set this at $15, or 15 dodge coin, and submit, and we'll leave that one at 5 reputation, and post that. Very good. And then we're going to set this one up and do auto craft. Actually, let's do this one, AU1 Auto Craft. Alright, so that's got this all set up now so that anyone can come along, sell brick, clay or mortar, and as long as there's labours that's been put onto those, it will turn out advanced upgrades and sell those at 25 per unit. So we'll go ahead and let everyone know. set up at my in-town store. Just add labour and materials and AU1s will pop out into the store. Alright, 
And that's got those set up now so that anyone can come along and essentially craft themselves an advanced upgrade. Uh, there'll of course be some people who are selling the materials and you know purchasing their upgrade for very very little um, and then there'll be others of course who are just wanting to get rid of their clay or their mortar clay mortar and bricks at that location for their production Perfect. And so now, yeah, anyone can, can get into there and just turn those out. Um, we're going to go ahead and purchase a little bit of clay over here. There we go, Riverbend Branch. We'll go ahead and purchase ten of those. It's going to cost us a little bit there. But we should be able to go ahead and put five of those into each of these. And that will at least get them started. Modules power. Go ahead and take five and put those into there. And 33 minutes. Very good. Crafting. 30 minutes. So that advanced upgrade, that'll be able to do all of those without any trouble. Storage. We'll go ahead and let it know. Yup, it can take those out of there. Very good. Okay, and we'll do the same thing here. That's going to take an hour and 40 minutes, so we'll definitely need more coal. Alright, and there we are. So that's how one would set up an auto craft. Um, obviously, I'm not doing any of the labor here. I'm just employing other people, purchasing materials and turning out a product. And so this is all essentially hands off once this is set up. Um, quite a fancy little way of doing it, uh, but hopefully that should get some of these out on the market and available for people to purchase. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and leave a like. And of course, if you've made it this far, that means go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you stay tuned for other videos. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Take care. Ta-ta.